yourself too spooky. Some fascinating items will be here. We have not been through this stuff at all. Oh, uh, see again, these are like those bootleg combiners, the MicroMasters. And I still kept the package because you're like, oh my God, I gotta keep everything. I don't think anyone gives a rights, but fascinating stuff. Okay, let's carefully do this. This was interesting. This, I was really astounded to find when I was doing the, this is a prize that you won, or a mail away at least, of GoBots. So this was a Road Ranger that was shipped and poorly opened. Thanks, dude. But it includes a little uh, certificate and stuff. And pre, you know, you can order more Tonka stuff. But uh, finding a mail away GoBot prize in the original package, that's exceptionally difficult. And I picked this up years ago because I need to collect GoBots. And when you find stuff like that, you just pay the premium. It's not much to look at. It's more the history behind it and documentation and just like... It reminds me of what I mentioned earlier in Japan. There's TV prizes where... Well, TV, not so much. TV magazine prizes in Japan that you can win through raffle a gold chrome transformer. And they do it like every year. But there's also other toy lines they do these prizes for. They did Machine Robo GoBots as well. But... There was a character from Takara Bray, which is the most amazing transforming toys ever made, called Captain Shark, of course. And Captain Shark had a gold promo giveaway. And a person I know picked one up many, many, many years ago. And the person who sold it was the mother. And her son won the contest and received one of the gold Captain Shark toys. And she never gave it to him. And she literally said that in the listing. Like, how nice of you. Sorry about that. This is an original pod for the Brazilian glass leet. So it's silver. Could be, this is probably to the TIE Interceptor, but where's the rest of it, people? Very unique artwork. Absolutely. They balls the wall, the best, the best. Better than uh, Ketter did for photography, to be honest with you. Collected, valuable, a couple hundred. It never got past that point. It's really kind of surprising. This is the Y-Wing Fighter. This is the original trilogy collection, and I'm going to be honest with you. When they reissue stuff, it pisses the hell out of me. When people make fakes of stuff, it pisses me off. It's my own pet peeve. I can make the arguments. Some will hold water, some will not. But when they did this in this redeco color, this is awesome. This is how you reissue stuff if you're going to have to do it. You make something new you change the colors you make everyone excited to have this new deco i will keep this the y-wing is an amazing ship and this is just i don't care what it costs right now resale value this is awesome that's a keeper so i moved this off the side and we're gonna go over here and look at our toys r us catalog oh my lord Give me, give me the vapors looking at this. When was this? 2005. I would keep the catalogs and just toss them in at the purchase. And then just be like, maybe it'll be worth something later on. But definitely fun to flip through. 2005. My gosh. Okay, it looks like I flew by that too, a little too fast. But yeah, there's not many action figures in this one. Kids Next Door. Revenge of the Sith. It's, I just... When I think of the kids next door and then Revenge of the Sith, I never mentally place them in the same time frame. It's just like, wow. And then look at that sale. If I'm correct, they, man, once again, they reissued the hell out of the Yu-Gi-Oh! disc launcher, the dueler. This was one of those great items at the flea market you would pick up for like three bucks and nobody knew what it was and you'd sell for 80 to 100. Yeah, I think that's long gone now, but man, those were good days. Okay. We have a Pokemon. Why would I buy this in Japan and just keep it? I think this is a food additive, to be honest with you, for your rice. Isn't that crazy? Oh, wow. Burst open, finally. There you go. Yep. Probably a food additive. And someone's going to be like, I need that for my collection. And you can have that. More Star Wars parts. Oh, get those growling in the boxes behind us. And I mentioned it. That, look at there, right? They're all hiding. So we have a... Uh, Super sweet trunks, super sand. So the, the large 10 inch figures, they they really are nice. But I mean, for me, after a while, 
I'm just so accustomed to always being the same characters. It's always going to be Trunks, always going to be Goku, always going to be... Like, we didn't get a Cell this big. We didn't get a Piccolo this big. So after a while, I kind of get a little, like, blasé on these big ones. We got Bojack. Bojack! They don't run that much. And I think people understand that, too. So I think this figure might be, like, 50 bucks. That's about it. But we're purging all of that. So there are all the open box and seal that I was storing. So I think when we bought these when they came out, we kept, as I mentioned before, we were all collectors. We kept one each sealed and one to open to play with. So and that means I got my sealed collection and I got my loose one. So we'll figure this out. Yep. So we have an open one here, open one there, and then the three basic play sets. They're the first ones that came out, dead stock sealed. And even though they're amazing and I love them, these only run about $25 each. That's it, because there's just still quite a lot out there. And that's fine. I don't mind. I, I really have great memories of putting the stickers on these, opening each one up, and being just excited for Star Wars toys that I bought off the shelf. As I mentioned earlier, I never got any of uh, the vintage stuff as a kid. A lot of hand-me-downs and going to like garage sales in like the late 80s and mid 80s and picking up vintage star wars but i never got anything for like myself from the store so i brought the box down and i was excited we have boom visionaries eagle eye magic mark on the top which means everybody 99 cents from evans so this is a clean card we had a lot of these are trashed so this is a nice one to have prefer not to have the magic marker on it but still great figure um they're going up in value they sell this for 15 bucks each all day long and now they're like 60 which is crazy we have a little bonder here for beetleborgs i'm not sure if this is the cheapy version this doesn't look like a tronic at all on it so we'll just put that downstairs with the loose collection i don't know how this is flopping around by itself and then we have Bubblegum Crisis Pris with the Moto Slave. This is this a sealed one? I was going to say, I'm pretty sure I opened it up and have it on display. So, like, I have two, but we have one. So, that's the box for us. So that's fine. So, I was excited to show you real vintage, amazing stuff in here. But we ended up finding an entire box of Bakugan. So, on the bad side, we don't have amazing vintage stuff that's worth a lot of money. Like the last box, to an extent, we have Bakugan, which is... Well, oh, great. Now that I'm looking at them even further, are these like some of the action figure ones? No, no, good, good, good. Oh, there's no Transformers on there. So this is a vintage piece. This is from Europe. This is a transforming bullshit watch. Well, it's not really a trans actual watch. And the vehicle transformers from a robot. And these are, these are actually just, I believe, bootlegs from a Japanese series produced by Mark. I don't know if they changed the colors or not, but this is just wonderful stuff that I love. This is near and dear to my heart of the random transforming toy lines. Just really basic GoBot looking things. I just, I like them. You know, that's what I grew up with. And the more wacky stuff like this, like Village Toy, Mark, and so forth, I like. You can see how just basic transformation it is, but lovely stuff. And again, it doesn't cost you the world, maybe 10 to 15 bucks different colors they produce these in, different vehicles. I like how they set this up as a giant display and you tear it off the, the vehicle that you want. Really simple. Just kind of set this yellowed. Bakugan, where'd you go? I'm gone with my Bakugan. So at this point, DC Universe, you just pick this stuff up on clearance at Target usually. You'd walk in, find them on like that couple aisles down, $2 each. And you'd say, hell yeah. Um, obviously can go DC stuff is fun, but I'm more of a Marvel person. But as I said, a lot of this stuff is just going anyways. Oh, well, okay. We don't have a Bakugan. So let's go through the Bakugans. We have, are these ones named at least? A lot of Bakugans did their great job of never naming them. So we have, there it is, Mercury Dragonoid. So we can look these up and a future Alex can give us prices on these. This stuff's going to be hit or miss. I do have a Japanese one from a previous box that ended up being pretty good money, about 300 But these are U.S. versions, and I don't think these are going to be, you know, 15 20 bucks each. Are there any Bakugan people watching? We got Baku Core. So here's Krakenoid. When I turn to look back to flush the toilet, 
To my horror, I saw a Krakenoid swimming in there. We got a Talion. That guy's pretty cool, actually. I, again, these would be fun to have loose. More Japanese ones would be great. Razanoid. That sounds like a vicious venereal disease. Two uh, Krakenoids. And the Krakenoid's head was poking out of the toilet bowl, staring at me, telling me, do it. Flush if you dare. Okay, so we have Breacher. Oh, see, these were neat. These were when the... These are the basic Transformers I like that are not bound to the movie. And they made some great designs. I'd love to play with them right now, to be honest with you. But at this point, this might be a $20 or $40 figure. The uh, Guzzle I sold from the movie, I already sold for $40 or $50. So I think we'll find a loose one, which wouldn't be too hard, you know. But I like to just have these these puzzles in my hands I'm editing or cleaning up need a pause break. We'll see what that's worth first. And we have to wrap it up with Mutant Taylor. Is that like, so there's a mutant version or a regular version? Now I know. So we have the Golden Pharaoh, which could be slang from the 70s some, for some sexual thing. Let's all type in the comments section of what you think that would be. Golden Pharaoh is some superpowers. Um, the fact they remade him is awesome as a six inch figure. That's why I bought him because it's just like, dude, you look super sweet. So we have him. I don't think he's going to be huge money. But we're going to look into that anyways. Maybe about 20 bucks. We have the Star Sapphire outfit. Um, Wonder Woman. Um, not in dire need of that one. But let's see what the market says. Also for those pieces. It depends on the Build-A-Figure part. If that's a rare Build-A-Figure part with that character. It doesn't matter. Go straight up in value. Oh no. We have the action figure of Bakugans. These are like 15 bucks each. We have to spend our time with these. Oh my God. I mean, they, I stated they didn't sell well, but clearly they're making multiple packages and multiple designs. So at some point it was doing well. Oh, I like the little figures they included with these. That was, that was nice touch. It's movie stuff. Again, I'd rather just have a loose one than a package one. I wonder if these go for now. The market is slightly getting there. Oh, these were 10 times better. These are like true Transformers. When they had those Target Masters slash Power Core Combiners or whatever. Damn, these were nice. I got a lot of these. This is a more uncommon one. This, the final series was much more difficult. I think it might be hard to get one of these loose complete. But future Alps will let me know. And we'll see what we got. We got an empty box, people. Hell yeah. So we got a lot of Bakugan for sale. That's great. We show you some great vintage stuff. But unfortunately, no much. Not much humor right now. My brain was in uh, overdrive trying to analyze the valuations of these things. And it's a little hot in this room. But man, look at all the stuff here. I got to get going on. And we'll be working on that next.